is Jamaica, one of the stops on the Oasis of the Seas. Truth be told, there's not a whole lot to do in Falmouth. Uh, as soon as you get right off the ship, uh, you have tons of stores and everything that actually Royal Caribbean created kind of that port area. It's a beautiful area. Um, again, great if you like shopping, uh, but I suggest to get away from all of that. Uh, you can explore the town a little bit. There are shops. You can buy some souvenirs here. So when you're here in Belmont, here's a great tip. Come to Taste Jamaica. They have free Wi-Fi and really cheap drinks. So come here, check your internet, check your Facebook, and enjoy really cheap drinks that you won't get on the ship. So when you dock in Falmouth on the Oasis of the Seas, uh, it's actually on the north part of the island. It's about two hours um, from the girl if you're looking to go there. Um, really maybe about 45 minutes away from Ocho Rios to give you a any type of idea. Um, it's really easy to get around here. There's tons of taxis. Again, like I said, you can go on an excursion. Everyone speaks English here. Everyone is very friendly. Um, and uh, they take US dollars, so no need to worry about that. Um, some places may not take credit cards, um, but it's always good to have American cash on you um, because you can use it everywhere here. Since we actually like to get away from all the crowds and all the people on the ship, uh, we took our own taxi. We negotiated the price a little bit. Um, $50 a round trip from Falmouth to um, here in Ocho Rios and back. So just a little note about when you're booking excursions. Uh, you can book tons of excursions on the ship. The great thing about doing that is your guaranteed availability. Uh, you can be a little bit tricky. We tried to book something on our own and we actually missed out on the first activity we wanted to do. Uh, that's okay because we found this beautiful place that we ended up going to, so it was a mixed blessing. Uh, but that's something to note. So if you do really want to do an activity and you want to make sure you get that availability, make sure you do book ahead of time on the cruise ship because you might miss out or you might find a beautiful gem that we did today. Uh, so we're here at the Green Grotto Caverns. Um, they're beautiful here. It was $20 for the entrance fee. And uh, walking around, I was in my flip-flop, so I'm actually okay, so it's not strenuous at all. Uh, you see bats flying around, uh, stalagmites, stalactites. They have a beautiful clear water uh, lake at the bottom. Uh, I highly recommend it. Again, it's not too strenuous if you're looking for an activity to go away. It's really interesting. You also learn a little bit about the history of um, Jamaica here, uh, starting with the uh, Native Americans that first settled here into then the African slaves that escaped the plantations and used the caves as a hideout. Uh, so I highly recommend it. Get out of the port, go explore this beautiful country, book an excursion, hop in a taxi, and they'll be happy to take you wherever you want to go.